Recently I was asked how to create a star effect similar to what you see here in this picture. Well, of course, this one was done in camera with a star filter on it, but it's very easy to do this in Photoshop. Basically, what you do is you use a brush. Now, let me show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is come over here and create a new blank layer, like I did here. Then you go all the way over here to the brush and activate your brush tool. Once the brush tool is activated, then you can go up to the top of your screen here and you can see in the option bar there's a thing here for brushes. So you just click on this and this window opens up. And here you can choose different types of brushes. Well the starburst brush is not there. So where is it? Up here you see a little arrow. You click on that arrow and you come down here and you just click on assorted brushes. You're asked whether or not you want to replace these brushes with the new brushes or whether you want to append it. And appending, appending this just means to add it to the bottom of the list, so we'll append it. And then I can scroll down and sure enough I see right here a couple of brushes that are starbursts. Now how do you use these? Well, that's very easy. What I do is I come over here and I pick a color and I'm just going to use white right here. And you can see when I move over my image that my brush is there. So the first thing I want to do is kind of figure out how big I want that brush to be. And the way that I do that is I'll use my open and close bracket keys just to make the brush a little bit bigger. And it's going to be in white. and I'm just going to put it right here on this little highlight. And there it is. There's my uh, starburst. Now, you can see here that that starburst is on its own separate layer. So now I can actually go in and I can change that starburst. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for uh, just generally changing things. And I'm going to use the Command or Control T. So you click that and now I get this little box and I can take this box and I can actually make the starburst larger or smaller. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to be holding down my shift key which constrains the size of the box or the aspect ratio of the box but I want it to go from the center rather than from the edge. So what I'm going to do is in addition to the shift key, I'm going to hold down my option key on a Mac or alt key on Windows and then it expands from the middle. So there I go. So I've made my starburst bigger and now if I move my cursor off to the side a little bit you can see I have this little double headed arrow and now I can take it and I can turn that and I can actually go in and I can reposition it just like that and I hit my enter key and there's my starburst and I can go in and I can add other starbursts just like that. And uh, if I add it to a new layer, let's put another new layer on here, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a starburst here, like this. And now I want to change that, so I hit my Command or Control T, and I'm just going to take it and bring it around like that, hit my Enter key, and I'm done. And that's all there is. You can make these any color you want, and you can have a lot of fun with it.